Hi everyone, this is Roxanne Barcelo and I can't wait to introduce you to the man of my life. My goodness, he is the epitome of being a father and I am so blessed to share him with all of you in terms of lessons, life lessons and philosophies. But of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. So here is me and Doc B. Hello everyone, my name is Roxanne Barcelo and I am the daughter of Doc B, Antonio Tobias Barcelo. Barcelo. He is a doctor in philosophy. I don't know how to introduce my dad properly in a way that would be extremely fair to you. I think of my dad in the highest um, pedestal possible. He is the epitome of what a true man is, what a true father, a true husband. And I just have so many amazing words about my, my dad and I don't know where to begin. Um, he is the standard in terms of living a, a good life. He has so many learnings that he shares with me, his family, his students, his co-workers. Every lesson that I have learned, whether the harder way, <laughs> he has definitely shared with me um, all the best life lessons. And a lot of people are, are very close to you, no? Parang, lahat ng mga estudyante ng tatay ko, lagi siyang nilalapitan. Ang tawag sa kanya, the Godfather. And, Ayoko na ipagdamot yung tatay ko. I'm at that point in my life where I would gladly share my tatay with all of you because to me, in my eyes, he is the best man out there. Sabi ko nga dati, ang difference lang natin dalawa, two things. One is he is a doctor in philosophy and two, nagkataon na nasa media ko. But otherwise, I am literally the daughter of my father. Tell us about yourself, Antonia T. Barcelo. Thank you. Thank wow. you, Anna. You're welcome. Uh, and thank you, Char. Appreciate this opportunity to, to work with you wow. on this project. I'm 70 years old and I, I look forward to a longer life. I look forward uh, to that too. Fulfilled uh, yes. and being able to uh, contribute not only to your learning but to the learning of other people. Agreed. Especially nowadays where uh, the internet has captured the imagination of a lot of our, our audience. Thank you for this opportunity. What I'll do today basically, uh, Anna, is mm -hmm be able to share some of uh, my learnings captured in uh, a framework. By the end of uh, this uh, so-called uh, sharing moments, uh, what we call a workshop, we will be working with our audience. Wait, ang tawag mo sa akin, Anna, baka magulat na naman, o iba na namang nickname. Ito yung totoo kong nickname sa bahay kasi ang sabi ni nanay, anak ko. So pag nagsusulat ako ng kware, Happy Mother's Day card kay mother, nakasulat sa dulo, love, anak mo. <laughs> Double end. It is very important that we will capture uh, everything that we're gonna be doing using a model or a framework. Mm -hmm. So we can always come back to it. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I'd like to highlight in this workshop is to be able to understand the framework is to have what I call humility. Lumiit. Bakit kailangan ng humility, Father? For you to be able to change personal and professional mm -hmm. change, you have to be humble. You have to listen to other people. You have to listen to to feedback. As we converse, 
we will be getting a lot of feedback, not only from each other, but from our audience. Okay. So, ikaw ang magbabasa ng feedback? Yes, yes, Tahay. yes. Tahay, yes. ikaw magbabasa ng messages ng subscribers. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let me reiterate, mm -hmm. emphasize, okay. humility is necessary. Humility, humility, humility. Yun ang pag-emphasize ko. Uh -huh. Humility, humility, humility. Tere! No, honestly, I'm a student of my dad. Why do I say that? Because my dad is literally a professor. He was a professor for how long? Almost uh -huh. 20 years. 22 years. <laughs> Hindi lang almost. Lampas sa almost. Nagtuturo siya sa University of Asia and the Pacific, which was a course called Entrepreneurial Management. During that time, it was all men. So, I attended ako because I really wanted to hear your, your topics, Tai. It had nothing to do with the students. Char. <laughs> I, I took notes, and then I would show my dad afterwards, oh, ito yung mga pick up ko. Kaya, best in notes ang anak mo. We would go to workshops together, Diba? Yes, yes. And then we would go to seminars together. Tapos ako yung assistant niya. I, I became really good at taking down notes for him. And then he would somehow synthesize and collate all the material. And then he was able to form his own framework. And I think important talaga yung foundation. I have my own mind. I have my own ideas. But disclaimer ito. Everything that I've done in my life, my dad has been very loving, unconditional about everything that I've done in my life. And I, I do have to say this. I believe that there is a God who is unconditional because my father on earth is absolutely unconditional. That's yung disclaimer. Ko. Okay, let's begin with your framework. Let me start with... Uh something that happened to me last night. Oh. Uh, and I have not shared this with you. Uh, and I'd like to share this with you. Okay. Uh, it's very important because it will kick off what we're gonna talk about today. Okay. Last night, I got a call from my friend. And he said that he dreamt, he dreamt something last night. He dreamt that his teeth fell off. He dreamt that my wife Rose called him up to say that I passed away. Hi. So don't don't worry. It was a dream that will never come true. I pray in Yahusha's name. I rebuke that in Yahusha's name. Okay. Uh -uh. No, no. It was good that it was being discussed today. Oh. Because we have, we can pray for it, diba? In, in other words, I, I, I said, why was the dream shared to me? For me to be able to, to, uh, to, uh, YOLO. You only live once. Precisely. Right? So, you know. You became my best mo ngayon. Precisely. So that uh, we're, we are able to take an action, mm -hmm. which is to pray. It would never happen. Or bunutan ko siya ng ipin. No, no. Chara. No. <laughs> Maldit. We cannot have controlled his dream. But we can control the things that would happen after, which is... Prayer. Uh, prayer. We, would, we could pray and you know, spiritually rebut what this dream is, was all about. Okay, fast forward to your framework. Fast forward, oh. okay. And part of this humility that I'm talking about okay. is acceptance. Okay. Okay, <laughs> accept the things that we're gonna be discussing today. I will talk about self-awareness. A lot of things that happen to us happen because we're not aware. But if we're aware, these things can be prevented. Okay, l let me just give you a framework that uh, I'd like to talk about. The levels of consciousness. There are three levels of consciousness. Conscious level, subconscious level, and superconscious level. 
As I talk now, guys, friends, countrymen, constituents, you are conscious that I am talking to you. You are conscious that you are looking at me. Before I told you that, you were not conscious that I was talking to you. You get that? Were you talking to me? Yes. Shut up. I was talking to everyone here. I believe. You were just listening to me, but you were not conscious. And that means that you have elevated your level of consciousness. You are conscious that you are conscious. Why? Deep. You are like elevating yourself on top of your of your physical body and saying. I am conscious that I am conscious. One of the highest levels of consciousness. We also have the subconscious level. Uh, before that, uh, let me just reiterate some of the things that I talk about in terms of consciousness. Huh? Consciousness, conscious level is self-awareness. You're aware that you're aware. And it is this, the seat of true love, real commitment. If you're in love, and you truly love your other half. That's the seat of true love, conscious level. The other level is the, the subconscious, subconscious level. Uh, subconscious. It is basically emotional, automatic level. It's in the sense that uh, you're not conscious really of what you're doing. Fall in love with someone, you're attracted, you get physically aroused, probably. Hey, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Automatic level in subconscious. Eh? We cannot be conscious all the time. Okay. Otherwise, life will be slow. What happens in our life is you need to be conscious at certain moments that are critical. Example: When you're driving, you have to be conscious that you're driving. Okay. Otherwise, if you're not conscious, you can meet accidents you put yourself in danger i don't want to put myself in danger okay when we're on the subconscious level uh, we rely on instincts like sex hunger things that we do instinctually okay? daddy what is sex just kidding patawarin na ako ganyan talaga kami try niyo maging seryoso pero ako talaga yung so our subconscious level is basically what we do every day without relying on our conscious level. It's automatic because we have to do it. And so what needs to happen is... So you're trying to say 90% of your actions are driven by? Subconscious. Subconscious. Level. Okay, okay, so that if we need to be really happy okay. and joyful, we need to give our subconscious a chance, a chance to be more Active. Active, more controllable. Uh -huh. Otherwise, uh, we would be doing a lot of sinful things. So we're saying this is the level of consciousness na when they say allow your instinct to kick in, diba? Your instincts. Subconscious. Your subconscious. That's your subconscious. What you think you need to do, think, is very forward. So it's very conscious. What you're trying to say is, go beyond. Yeah. Your subconscious. Can, can I give an example? Of course, this is okay. your show. I meet a young woman. I will kill her. That is my instinct. Shut up. <laughs> I meet a Natalie. young woman. If I operate on a conscious level, I will say, this woman is beautiful, but I am married. Okay? And you have two children. And I have two children. I will not be able to entertain impure thoughts about this woman. Okay? My conscious level is able to control my subconscious level. My automatic response could be sinful, full of danger. Why? Because if I allow my, my instinct to rule over my, my actions, mm -hmm. which I said 90% of our actions are controlled by our automatic response, I will sin. You won't sin. Uh, precisely. I will not allow you to So I, I, I'm able to control it. You allow your conscious level to control your actions. Letting your, your subconscious ruled by your conscious. When you're able to do that, you're super conscious. Your spiritual level 
your divine level takes over you so you make good decisions in life. It is the sources of our virtues and our goodness. So if you allow your superconscious and conscious to mesh and interact, you will live a life of happiness and joy. Really? Uh, but it's, it's difficult, you must admit. Temptations are real. Yung, yung facial expression mo, sobrang difficult na. So ayoko na isipin kung gano siya ka difficult. So... <laughs> it's a very good basic framework. Tayong mga, hindi lang mga guys, kasi puro ka guys ng guys. Hindi lang mga guys ang nananakal. Kasi I think my dad is taking this opportunity na to not only lecture you guys or to share his learnings with you, but also to reiterate what he wants me to to know. Sabay sabay po tayong matututo dito. And because I'm not able to attend every workshop, I'm not able to attend all of your classes. But I do want people to experience um, how it is to be taught life lessons. I like your framework. Very simple way of setting it up. Um, foundation natin is being aware of your conscious, your subconscious, and your super conscious. I think that's how we operate as beings. And my friends will laugh when I say this, because I always say this. My goal is to be aligned. And when I say alignment, it's not about any religion. It's not about any of that. Whatever I feel is what I'm thinking. And it's what I'm saying and it's what I'm doing, and it's what my gut tells me. It's one thing. Yung walang taliwas, walang internal obstacle. You have your values. You've shared with me um, as much values as you can, kayo ni nanay. Um, I've formed my own based on my experiences. I agree with you that setting the tone for our show is to be humble. I really want to learn as much as I can from you. I really want to share you with everyone. You are the best teacher I've ever met. I'm just so, 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 so blessed. You're my hotline. Kumbaga, can I call a friend? Laging ikaw. My dad knows and my mom knows what happens to me real time, as it's happening, as I make decisions, um, whether I follow or not, that's not in question. Basta, they're super hyper um, aware of, of all my menial and daily and big decisions in my life. I just love that you're so unconditional. I've said my biggest mistakes to my parents and they've never shown me any type of like hindi ka na namin mahal walang ganon as in open arms and sobrang happy ako with who I'm becoming and who I want to be and I don't look at my past and I feel like there's so much potential that I can achieve because I look at you and I look at Nanay and I want to honor you I'm looking forward to the things that you'll share with us. I'm looking forward to um, the hope that you'll give everyone. Kasi yun naman yung importante sa buhay eh. Hope eh. I, ba? I agree with you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Thank you for uh, also making me a part of your life. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, I'm half you. <laughs> it's very I'm important that uh, we talk of the integrity of our theories, mm. our learnings, and I agree with you that uh, there is what you said alignment. alignment of our conscious level, mm. our subconscious mm -hmm. level, and our spiritual level. Because mm -hmm. if there's no alignment, it's diff difficult to grow as a person. Agree. Okay. We all commit mistakes, but if we don't grow out, grow out of those mistakes, we will never be happy, and we will never experience joy. I also would like to thank you for allowing yourself to 
receive feedback. Off cam. Off cam and on cam. <laughs> <laughs> Off cam. Because it's very important for you to to grow. Wala hanggang 5, 3 and a half na ako tayo. Uh -oh. <laughs> Due to you. And I would like to express my gratitude to you for uh, being with me through all these years. Uh, you were born 19... Millennial tayo, 1995 ako. I don't know what she's... <gasps> I've been with, with my wife, Rose, your mom, for 36 years. 10 years kayong married before ako pinanganak. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important for, for me to be able to live with her and she with me for 36 years. Of course, experiencing difficulties. That's I've never seen the difficulties. I've never seen them fight. As in, ever. Never ko sila nakitang magtalo. O yung, yung mga eksena sa mga soap opera, walang ganun sa bahay namin. Walang sigawan. Walang sigawan. Parang, parang fairy tale. Pero, let's just say, they're very close and they're very expressive of themselves. Ano to? Thank you, show. <laughs> Thank you, sponsor. <laughs> He's a philosopher for a reason. Philosopo ka talaga. Uh -huh. And, and you mentioned two words that are very important to this show. Which one? Uh, philosophy mm -hmm. and reason. Sinabi ko ba yung reason? Oo. Oo. Everything that we're doing, we will always talk about why we're doing it. There is always a philosophy for doing things. So what's the philosophy for doing this? The philosophy of life. We're discussing life here. So we will talk about why are we making decisions along these lines? Okay. What is the reason? What is the philosophy? If we're aware of the philosophy of why we're doing things, there, then we're in a better disposition, disposition better aptitude to, in controlling things and making decisions, what we think, what we say, and what we do. Inago mo na, charot! <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that I'd like to emphasize every time is the philosophy of things. Philosophy and the reason. The reason. I say philosophy is reason. I know that. <laughs> so the philosophy and reason for everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so hindi ko itatago sa inyo. I will not hide our relationship na magama, kasi very candid kami talaga sa isa't isa. Nagbabarahan kami. Minsan, pagkakausap kita sa telepono, akala ng mga friendship ko or kung sino mga ka-join ko, kung sino yung kausap ko, akala nila, kabarkada ko or beshi ko, ganyan. After ng chika. Bye, Tay! I love you! Tapos sasampalin ako ng mga bakla. Bakla! Tatay, baka usap mo nun! Maluloka sila, naluloka sila. Kasi ganun ako ka-open ka sa'yo. Hindi sila makapaniwala. Yun yung real sa atin. I'm very proud of the relationship that I have with my parents. Yung nanay ko tsaka tatay ko, magkaibang magkaiba sila. Sila yung literal na opposites attract. My mom's an accountant. My dad's a change consultant. He's a doctor in philosophy. In short, nung bata ako, I was trained in subjects like English, history, and handwriting even by my dad. Math, science, physical education, lahat ng sports. Dahil kinanay. So very, very different, very polarized sila. But they work. I am clearly a different individual from you guys. And I love that my parents accept me 100% for who I've become. They don't agree with everything I do, just as I don't agree with everything that they say. I'm very stubborn. I have my own mind. I was born and raised in Virginia. Do you know Yes, yes. Because uh, 15 years sila in the States, then we moved here when I was 13. They have never gotten tired of scolding me, of teaching me lessons, of showing me love, of sharing what they know wrapped in sugar. So they speak to me with a lot of love and a lot of sugar. I am the person I am today because they've never given up on me. 
I have a personal goal. My reason and my philosophy for what I do will slowly come out as we progress with this channel, with um, the work that I do. I will slowly share with you who I truly am and why I do what I do. I want you to know me and I want to be there for you. And I want you to know that I will use as much of the resources that I have, including my parents, their learnings, my learnings, my personal learnings, ibubuhos namin so that we can all change for the better. I am an advocate of change, whether it's external, internal, constantly asking yourself, what do I want to do next? Who do I want to become? And these all involve change. The only thing that you have control of is yourself. I believe in each and every one of you, and that's coming from a heart that is full because my heart is full because of them. The people who are here with me, they love me, they give me full support no matter what I do. And I'm full of love, I'm full of belief and hope. I allow that outpour to pour out to you guys. I want all of us to help each other that we can all become better. We all can just be change agents. Yeah. Yeah? Correct, correct. Okay. I, I'd like to just say change starts with me. Sabay sabay. Do not expect other people to change okay. if you don't, yourself does not change. Change, change starts, starts with, with me. You. And this is the show. Me and Doc B. Right? Okay guys, if you want to see more, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, uh, hit the bell notifications, and please, please, please comment para malaman namin kung ano yung nasa isip nyo. We want feedback. We love you guys so much. Bye!